Hello and welcome back to Pack Your Wild Drift. I got another Synch video for you here. Running Hard Steel and Roll of Ages combined with the Psychic Protector, giving you more AP for your HP. And yeah, we're gonna see if this is the worst combo, but we just got a Yumi that's going on to us a lot, so hard to say here if this build is worth it. I honestly think it's. Uh, not not as good as it seems here in this video. Like of course you're more tanky, but getting rid of ages and projector combined with other items feel a little bit stronger. And as always, you can join this month's skin giveaway if you're on the Europe or Middle East and Asia uh, M E N A server. Either here in the comments by commenting giveaway without writing it weird so I can filter it out or you can join the discord, link in the description as always and there you can win a legendary skin same thing, only uh, EU and MENA server and here in the comments you can win two epic skins every month of course you can only win one but there are two winners and the skins are sponsored by Team Void, Captain Spikey. Their social links are in the description as well, if you're looking for a guild in Wild Rift. And a nice community overall. And definitely recommend these guys. So, as usual I like to uh, clear towards bot side on my Singed. And if I can start blue buff, that's even better, because I don't need to worry about mana. If I start on red buff, uh, I need to spam my poison. So it still does the same damage, but consumes less mana. You don't need to do that if you have a blue buff anyway. And yeah, I just uh, like to go for a full clear. And after 4 camps, usually I go for the scuttle. Olaf is on the other side too, so don't need to worry about contesting this one here. I'm gonna check if I can maybe get a fling on the ash here. He flashes away, fling the thrash instead. He dies to the Yumi, not to me unfortunately, but there it's fine. We got a kill here, and I continue my full clear. Maybe you could even, uh, at least if you're running Ghost, you could even skip the boots to go hard steel right after Road of Ages to just uh, stack it faster. But yeah, boots are also pretty damn good on Singed. Not sure if that's worth it. So, since in the early game we are not fighting as much, definitely getting the uh, Road of Ages. I would never get a Rod of Ages after Hard Steel. Taking the Rod of Ages early is way more effective than getting early Hard Steel, in the jungle especially. Now I'm looking uh, if I can help out top here. They are fighting pretty far to his side already. Hero dies before I'm there. I get a flip off anyway. Get two punches on him and barely calculated right here that he's going to die from it. But even even if I would think uh, that he's not going to die here, I probably would have backed off there. I don't wanna die for one kill, not really. So our uh, blue respawned. We have the Gromp already, but then we were pretty low and I also got the Rod of Ages. And that's why I instantly recalled. It's 
start uh, getting stacks on the Road of Ages. Definitely uh, valuable. Lose some seconds of jungle clear. Start stacking your rod. Checking here if the uh, Zoe tries to stay, and we could have gone for a gank. But she backs off, so I just uh, push back the wave here. So the turret doesn't get too much damage. Then I take the vision plan to see if the crap is done. Continue my clear. Karma is roaming bot lane, so I have to defend mid lane again here. I'm just pushing it out. The Karma some time roaming. Look like it's working out too well though. Those bot laners died for it. But um, I think we can at least take the drag for it now. So I'm not really worried about these always stealing it here. I get the smite off and get enough distance. I have this one. Put one more uh, smite on the Olaf for the slow and put my super glue down. But now I'm just uh, backing off again. Got my boots finished, which is pretty good for Singed. But as I said, it could also go uh, hard steal right after, since you have uh, your ghost for move speed, but it might feel really bad on Singed to not have the boots, since you're so dependent on, on your move speed. So I think uh, going boots is a little bit better. And I smite the, uh, smite the new turret thing here. I really hate that thing. Rift Herald was so much better. So it's not even worth it to try going for it here, but yeah, I got baited anyway. Because they were pretty low and then I failed to smite. So, pretty big mistake by me there. Now oh, they got, get to push even harder with it. Since we uh, had two people dying. I don't have a ghost yet to go in here again. Okay, now I have my ghost back, so I do get the fling off. But the trash actually barely <laughs> survives, man. Oh, well, sorry, I bet that was pretty sad to watch. I thought he's dead already. Definitely could have uh, gotten one more auto attack in there somehow. I'm really not uh, playing too much at the moment. So I hope my gameplay gets better again when I start grinding more. But overall this game, it went pretty well. So I thought it might be worth watching this uh, hard steel cinch build here. But I do have vision here, so I'm waiting for the karma. Getting my slow zone down. But there's four enemies here, so gotta be a little careful. Do get a fling off on the Zoe before she can jump back. Actually, she does jump back, but. Yeah, the fling interaction is pretty, pretty in favor of the Singe because you're just gonna flip her where she would land even if she didn't jump. I think it's like that with all the jumps. So yeah, I think we can kill them both here, so I die for it. I think that's pretty worth it. Graves uh, gets a split push in in the meantime. But overall I would say 
This one's pretty good for us. And this graves is really a damn ahead. I have two on his top lane graves. So it's good that we do have the ninja tabby. Get the vision plant always. Since it doesn't cost anything. Graves gets another double. But at least uh, Kaiser got the shutdown. And without the graves we might even be able to fight this. But I also don't wanna uh, risk it too much because the dragon is spawning. They still don't have the graves, so maybe we'll be able to. Maybe we could be able to contest it. But yeah, I just. I really don't like the new objectives. Thought uh, before that Drake isn't that crazy impactful before. And I still think so, but I think the uh, like the new Rift Herald bird thing and the mimics are even less impactful than Drake. And before Rift Herald was insanely strong, so it's really sad to see that uh, gone. It takes a lot of power from the junglers, in my opinion, because securing Rift Herald was a pretty big deal before, and now you don't, uh, you just don't have that. Objective that's pretty free to take early. I mean, still pretty easy to get, but no, it just, just doesn't do as much. And we are only 80 gold off our hard steel. But yeah, as you can see here, it's already 11 minutes almost where we get our hard steel. Of course, uh, I would have some stacks already here if I didn't go for the boots first as well as the enchantment. But yeah, as I already said, pinched uh, without boots can be pretty painful. So I wanna really uh, get a quick recall in here now. Since we do have the hard steel. And I think from this point on the Yumi starts staying on us a lot, which is a really good choice. Yumi and Singed is really insane, even if the Singed is not fed already. He will probably probably be fed the Yumi stays on him. He knows what he's doing. So I'm not even sure if I can uh, fight the Graves here. Just pushing out the wave. Then instead I wanna try fighting the enemy team there on the top lane. Because yeah, if this uh, goes well here, like it's going, then I get way more than I would get from fighting the Graves. So we get two more kills here. But Graves is split pushing again. Giving us a really hard time. And yeah, maybe I should have gone uh, for the Glory Enchant. And I would have gotten the Zoe here. And we still get her, but just because she's stupid. It's Glory and Chan, we would have gotten her for sure, even without her mistake. So here uh, I root the Graves in a slow zone. Since I had uh, such a big shield, I went for that. And Fiora can pick him up. And since the Graves is such a big problem, it's uh, pretty huge for us. So now I already have my ultimate back. And just <laughs> just run in here again. Let's get their hard steel procs here. Did get the thrash one. Couldn't reach the uh, Olaf for the hard steel. But yeah, even though I just got it two minutes ago, it already gave me 260 HP here. And next we're going for the projector. Or maybe we go the Henry first, I'm actually not sure here. We could definitely go the uh, Henry before as well. Uh, projector might give you more damage. And, uh, 
They nerfed Leandri, even though it wasn't str even that strong before. And they even nerfed the flat damage, so it's even worse in the early game. And uh, still pretty decent in the late game. So I guess uh, going Projector into Rabadon be a better choice than going for an early Leandri. You can definitely go Leandri here before Rabadon. But... Yeah, with a nerf, Rabadon might give you more damage, honestly. Also, if you don't have the Infinity Orb, kill damage crit. Then Leandri is uh, also a bit less effective. The Infinity Orb is so good if you have uh, the Leandri because the, your poison stays so long on them and keeps critting. And here I'm just getting uh, to see it like crazy. And Graves uh, catches me there with this insane damage. Really needed uh, Fiora here in that fight. Oh, there goes uh, the Drake. But at least no one is getting this hole here. And as long as Yumi stays on us, I'm still pretty confident we win this one. Since our build is especially good in the late game. So a stack Road of Ages. And we will just uh, keep stacking the hard steel. Unfortunately not getting the stack from him here. But now we're really collecting the stacks. Getting the Olaf as well. And I'm still looking here. Cancel the recall with the super glue. And we pick up Zoe as well. Now I wanna push out mid lane, then go straight bot lane since our wave is in the turret there. We'll be able to get some turret damage on. So we get the wave in there and yeah, this turret should be really free. Push one more wave in. And we could probably even uh, fight them here if they go for us. But I really would like to uh, get the blue buff here first. So we don't run out of mana. And yeah, I got that. And I just uh, keep farming here in front of their face. And if they engage on me, I think we, we will be able to fight them. Fortunately, the Yumi ult went in a bit awkward direction. Wasn't able to go there. That was the uh, don't play it. We survive. Getting the double amount of shield from three people, and we did a lot of damage there. So that did run pretty well again. I got a fling off on the Zoe. Getting another kill. Now only Graves is left, he is the biggest problem though, so we protect him. Ash is there too, but she's so useless that I even forget that she's still there. And yeah, she was really useless again. Now I do have gold for the Rabadon, but I'm thinking that we will be able to end if I get the Baron here. Also Kaiser is getting the Eternal Drake, which is really good. But I kinda need her damage here after she's done with that. A bit annoying, but yeah, I think my team uh, definitely played this right here, getting the Inip and the Eternal Drake. That's the best outcome for us here. So I smite that, go for the blue buff. And 
now we can grab our Rubberdon. Fortunately, while while playing here, I didn't press the scoreboard to see how much uh, AP we have now. But I would guess we have like seven or eight hundred AP now. Without full build, we do get so much HP from Hard Steel and Road of Ages. Which in return gives us a lot of uh, AP again from the Protector. Yeah, I'm just uh, running in again here. I think he graves. Maybe he he's done with carrying them and just started inting. Not sure what he tried to do there. Get a flip on the edge. Just uh, yeah, keep running into them. Need to tank here so my team can get them. Should be able to end the game. Even though we die for it. So let's check the stats here. That's why I played so few games that I'm still in Emerald. I don't know, I played maybe 30 games or something like that this season. So I really wanna grind more. At least we are in uh, Emerald 1 after this one. I think our synth win rate is still like 90%. Best we ever had in any season, but it's still uh, not enough games. So that didn't mean anything. So we did tank a huge amount, but that was also uh, because of the Zoe. But overall, this uh, build definitely feels pretty good. I would say it's a viable thing to go for. Try it out for yourself. See you in the Discord or next video.